I guess start us off, Ryan, I guess just why you've got on the dog uh, shirt and maybe what, what uh, this is all about. Yeah, Titans are uh, part of the, uh, the adoption weekend with Mars Pet Care. Um, <clears throat> they're actually, their foundation is giving $100,000 to um, adoption fees uh, across this weekend, both here and in Kansas City. So um, if you're looking for a dog, looking for a, a cat, and um, you know, want to want to add a family member to your to your family, check out one of the uh, the shelters here in town and uh, find yourself a new new pet. And what's that dog's name? This one's Myra. Cute little guy. Um, but yeah, there's actually um, a website if you want to find out the actual shelters and, and the dates and everything. It's I think October 22nd to the 24th. And um, you can go to bettercitiesforpets.com slash adopt2021. They'll have more informa information there for you. Do you have a couple dogs of your own? I only have one right now. We just lost one uh, this off offseason, um, old age, and, uh, and it was time. But, yeah, I'm a, I'm a dog person, love dogs. I've always had dogs. I've actually you know, had a dog ever since I was a little kid. I can remember going to a shelter when I was five or six years old and, and picking out our family pet, uh, Freckles, and we had him for uh, – for about 13 years, I think. So it was a great, great dog, and uh, you know, part of you know why I feel great about supporting a pet adoption. What, uh, Ryan, it, Mike Gray mentioned the other day, and I guess you you'd probably agree that maybe not the greatest start for for you in the offense the other day, but what really kind of turned things around there in that second half? It, it seemed like you had you know better focus, things were clicking better. Um, you know, maybe maybe from your viewpoint in particular, what was going better? Yeah, I just settled in a little bit to the game. Uh, we started executing better as a whole, obviously myself included in there. Uh, yeah, I think after the first quarter, we didn't we didn't have a punt. You know, so uh, we didn't get off to the start we wanted to. That's something we want to improve upon. We're going to need to come out and, and play well early in games um, and put points up early. But you know, we settled in, and uh, you know, Derek kind of gave us a spark with that the long run, but. Uh, you know, after that, we really just kind of found our stride and, and started executing much better as an offense. It really Ryan. started going well down the stretch, and I, and I think you've probably seen that stat where I think uh, under Mike Frable, you guys have come from behind or tied in the fourth like 13 times or something like that. That I hadn't seen the stat, but... Okay. <laughs> That a testament, and you know, in some some ways to, to you and the offense, that you guys have that ability to sort of zone in, you know, when, when things are tight there in, in the late going? Yeah, I think that... You know, we can handle adversity. You know, we have a resilient group <clears throat> that has a lot of confidence that you know, if there's time on the clock and, and if we're, we're within striking range that we can find a way to, to get the points and, and um, find a way to win. You know, at the end of the day, a lot of games are going to come down to, uh, to the fourth quarter here in the NFL. So um, I think you get the confidence from doing it. And like you mentioned, we've had several successful games where we've done that and uh, when you do that it, it builds that confidence and gives you something to to lean into the next time you're in that situation you scored 20 in the first quarter so far this year why do you think the scripted element of, of the of the game plan hasn't hasn't paid off i don't know it's tough to say you know sometimes um things aren't just going your way you know i think that uh we had some opportunities early in this game in this past game and you know as a group we didn't we didn't make the play so um Definitely something we want to improve upon. With the passing game, uh, so much of the attention has been on Derek, but how much room for improvement is there uh, to, to, to get more yards out of the air? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, I think we, we did some good things, especially in the second half. You know, got AJ going a little bit. Um, I mean, he's doing a great job getting open, especially across the middle. So, um, you know, it's something that's always been a part of our offense and, and um, something we feel really strongly about. But um, when we can be effective, you know, using the play action and, and getting the ball in, in AJ and, and Julio's hands, you know, we're going to be going to be effective. Ryan, for AJ to have the type of game he had, despite having the the food poisoning situation, I guess, and, and for a big game like that, I guess maybe what does that say about his uh, ability to to rise to the occasion in the biggest moments? Yeah, no doubt, it's heck of a game by AJ. Obviously, he was dealing with a, an illness or food poisoning, whatever it may be, uh, and you know, he fought through it. You know, he felt like crap see it you know on his face but um, he went out there and, and played really well for us and, and made some huge plays so uh, he played tough played physical and uh, made huge plays when it counted
What's your level of trust these days in Nick Westbrook Aquina after he steps in again when Julio couldn't go there in the fourth and, and was big on that last drive for you? Yeah, no doubt. Nick's been huge for us several times this year. Uh, he's a, a multi-tool. He can play every position uh, in the wide receiver room and um, knows what to do. So, you know, someone goes down, he has the ability to step in and, and fill that role. He's, he's tough. He's physical. Uh, the long run that Derek had, he had a, a nice block right at the point of attack and kind of sprung that run. Um, and then you mentioned coming in and making some big catches. Had a huge third down conversion uh, in the fourth quarter and um, a, a catch earlier in that drive to, uh, to get us going. So I have a lot of confidence throwing the ball to Nick, and he's been crucial to our offense you know, this year. How uncommon or common uh, is that, twice, I guess? twice, I guess, in 2019. Uh, does that help you at all preparing for this week? And how, what do you remember about those games? Yeah, I remember a lot about those games. Um, yeah, we'll go back and look at them, and I'm sure they're going back and look at them as well. You know, it's it's part of game planning. You you try to look at the tape of, of previous times you played team, especially if the coordinator is the same and, and some of the personnel is the same. Um, so, yeah, it works both ways. We're going to look at, at what we did, and they're going to look at what they did, and uh, try to build off of that. Yeah, Nick, people mention that you know he knows all the positions quite, quite often. Like how, I guess, uncommon would that be that someone would know them as well as he does? Um... It's kind of uncommon, you know, for, for a guy just to be able to insert, all right, at this play, uh, he's at this position, and the next play, he's at a different position. Um, it's tough to do, right, because you're, um, you're stressed mentally to, to be able to, okay, not only is it the play, you now it's formation, where am I lining up on if I'm this position or if I'm this position, you know. So there's a lot that goes into it, and it's not easy. So um, definitely, you know, something that he should get credit for. You talk about the trust that you you talk about the trust that you have in Nick, and that, and obviously, I guess that starts on the practice field. But how much do you have to see it in the games for it to really manifest itself? I mean, it helps definitely. If players make plays in games, obviously, but um, it's like you said, it starts on the practice field. And um, you know, if guys are making plays for me in practice, and I feel really confident throwing it to them in the game. Ryan, is there such thing at all as coming off of a high of a game like that and, and really refocusing? Um, this week, I mean, does that happen? I know in the past you've seen games like that where maybe you have a big game like that and then you come back and you don't show up. I mean, how do you focus this week moving forward? Well, last week's over. You know, I think that uh, we enjoyed the win. Um, you know, enjoyed it Monday night, a little bit of Tuesday while you uh, watch the tape and make the corrections. And, uh, and yesterday afternoon, we're getting ready for uh, for this one. So I have to be able to turn the page. You know, I say it every week, whether it's it's good or bad. You have to be able to turn turn the page in this league, because each week is uh, independent of the last week. You have to show up every every week, so um, it's going to be crucial for us to to come out, uh, have a great week of preparation, and, and be ready to go on Sunday. Some other teams, like certain quarterbacks, they just make it their business to target a certain player, but it doesn't seem that way with you. And why do you have that ability just to be able to distribute that ball, and not focus? Hey, I got to go to Julio. I got to go to AJ. I just try to throw to the open guy, uh, you know, whatever the, the coverage dictates, uh, whatever the, the progression dictates uh, on the play, uh, however those kind of blend together, right, um, you know, and try to find a good spot for the ball to go to. I have trust and belief in, you know, pretty much every guy that steps foot out there and is running routes for me. So, um, you know, i got to trust those guys to do their jobs and, and get open, and then I have to do my job and get them the football. It be difficult to stay in a rhythm and in a flow when you have guys coming in and out with injuries, even with a, a sort of next man up mentality. It can make it harder, no doubt. You know, guys have to have to step in and kind of pick up where the, the last man left off. But we've seen guys do that. We've seen guys come in. You know, Kendall played big for us this last game. Taylor goes out, and um, and Kendall really stepped in and did a nice job for us on the whole. So. Um, you know, we mentioned Nick earlier, a guy who stepped in and, and came up big for us. So, yeah, it can't make it more difficult, but um, with that next man up mentality that this, this team has, it definitely helps and makes it easier. You talked about going back to the 2019 games and looking at them. Obviously, the championship game is the farthest you've gotten in your career. How, how often have you thought about that game as you look at it this week? Does it bring back some painful memories? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, uh, it's a huge game, right? It, it's something or where you have a chance to uh, to go to the big one and, and get a ring, you know. So not being able to do that, you know, hurts. But at the same time, that was two years ago, and, and uh, we're not going to get hung up on on uh, what happened two years ago. You try to take it for what it was. Um, 
yeah, you remember you remember the situations, you remember the game, but um, just trying to take the black and white from it and, and move on and apply it to this week. Relationship, I guess, gone with with Todd Downing. You know, has it? Have you seen it develop as the season has gone on? Uh, you guys you know, love so. these questions. I mean, feel like every week I answer questions like this. Uh, my relationship with Todd is great. You know, it's started back in February and still going today. And uh, you, I guess I'm just trying to figure out, like, you know, as the season has gone on, have you guys learned anything more about one another or anything like that? Or? Yeah, I mean, obviously, the more time you spend with someone, the the better your relationship gets and the more you learn about each other. I feel like we have a, a great process of, of putting a game plan together. And then uh, on the sideline, it's been great. You know, I've had some ideas. He's had some ideas on the sideline, and we kind of blend those together and, and have come up huge for us on the field, you know, made some huge plays because of uh, adjustments. So uh, I love working with Todd and, and look forward to uh, continue doing so. Oh, yeah, that again. Okay. You check in with I'll hold you to it. Have you checked in, I guess, with Taylor since Monday, and, and maybe how hard is it to see a teammate cart it off like that and then try to immediately snap your finger, try to get ready to play the next down? Yeah, I mean, it's, I've definitely talked to Taylor. Um, you know, glad I was able to speak with him. Seems seems like he, uh, you know, is going to be okay, obviously. But, um, yeah, it's tough. You know, you see a guy go down and, you uh, leave the field in a, in, a, in a traumatic kind of situation. Um, a guy you love, a guy you, you call a teammate, a brother, and uh, you see him you know, lying there is, is tough. Um, and then you have to just snap back in, right? Lock back in and uh, try to rally the guys around Taylor in that situation and um, you know, punch it in the end zone and get that score for him. So. Um, we were able to do that. Our guys kind of, kind of snap back in, lock back in, and then we're able to execute and uh, and get that touchdown. So, yeah, it's a difficult situation. You hate seeing uh, a guy you love go down and especially leave the field like that. But uh, I was proud of our guys of being able to lock back in and, and score. After a moment like that, like in, in the next huddle, do you have to say, as a leader, as the the QB, do you have to say something to the guys? After everyone, you know, obviously witnessed that, do you have to? Do you feel like you have to say something? To make yeah, sure I did. I mean, I don't know if I felt like I had to. I just felt like it was the, the right thing, you know. Um, you know, I'm constantly talking to the guys throughout the game, trying to encourage, trying to bring us together, trying to to build momentum and and uh, and score, you know. So, um, just part of part of what I do.